we're here today, you know, to celebrate an amazing career in film. Um, he's an absolute icon. He's magic. Whenever he appears on screen, he is the inimitable David Galpolo. You see, they like you. <laughs> yeah, it's a good crowd. And good evening. Yeah. David, I'm... I wanted to start right at the beginning. And you were one of very few Indigenous boys that were brought up in the bush, trained in the bush. Can you talk about that just a little bit? Uh, in the bush? I'm only one at uh, Full Rad Aboriginal. I've uh, been born and come to the, uh, to any mission time and a settlement time and all that, but really I've been born in bush. I never went to school. I pick up English just by listening. So, and, but you, you had, you learned traditional ways. I've been hearing about some of your amazing feats yes. with a spear. Um, but also, you were a dancer. Yeah. That's all I know is experience is dancing. Dancing, singing and spear throwing and hunting. That's and that's my job. <laughs> and my father gave me a spear and said, make sure you come back, the spear is live. Not to break, but you bring live one. Good one is still not to break the spear and a fish. So I did all that things. But somewhere there, I, I would forget that, that discipline from my father. So I would end up in a Western world. That's the way it I happens. I don't know what I would do. Well, you know, what happened was that Nicholas Rogue saw you dancing, didn't well, he? Then, well, then that was the first time. I mentioned about you want to uh, we make a full blood Aboriginal hook and dance and sing and try spears to swim or eat goina and all that. And everyone, and everyone there, and Madam and said, uh, yeah, him, him, that's that. That's him there, yeah. And I said, why me? What about you? <laughs> you don't go like that. And I said, yes. And then Nicholas arrived in Madam That was 1969. And you were, and what, was, 16 yeah, at the time? Yeah, I was 14, I think. 14, 12, 14. And uh, he came, he asked, they asked me, see if I can play that film Walkabout. That was my first time. I thought I was going to be John Wayne. <laughs> you know? But uh, anyway, I went to Alice Spring and uh, I met the director and Ginny Agata and she was in school. And I was a bush boy. And a little son, uh, Nicholas Rose's uh, son, to Look. play. Yeah. And that was the first time for me, experience. No, you didn't speak English at this I time. Never, I never speak English. And Richard, my brother-in-law, he was helping me to R talk. Uh, he said, uh, yes, you say, yes, yes, sir. And he said, we go this way. He was translating all the English for me. And when I went to London to premiere, I had a red carpet from Contes all the way down to Hermitage, Queen of England, uh, for Queen Car. I jumped in there, Spear and Umrah, and I walk up there, and I come out with a crowd on parking in Palace. And I walk with my lap lap on, that's it, no shirt. I hope it was summer. So, so, <laughs> so in there, if, if I'm standing, I was standing there and everyone was, it was really cold, just like here. Really cold. And I was naked. <laughs> Almost as naked as nothing in there, nothing at all. And, and I was, and I was, and, and I was, uh, I was standing. Uh, the Queen, Queen was, uh, can I take this phone? Can I yeah. take it? Thank you. Uh, the, queen, <laughs> the Queen was saying, uh, uh, walking and saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a kid that's standing on like that. Uh, Hold it closer. Is he, is he, is he, uh, is he, is he got a tail? <laughs> <laughs> and asking this little one, asking her, uh, asking the Queen, and I said, uh, uh, is he, 
is that Aborigine has got a tail? Said, no, no, that's a kangaroo, you know, like, that's, a, that's a kangaroo, you know, that's different. And Dave. I keep going like that, and I was looking at him. By the time I, I understand, he said, uh, I couldn't be up, all right, well, uh, uh, it was really cold in London. Anyone would have went down and I could, we would stand like that. <laughs> go like that, I didn't. It was naked standing like that and walking proud. Yeah. You know, in well, London. you've always done that in film. Thank you, thank you. Um, making that film, did you understand the film well, process? Well, I understand. I understood that one of uh, uh, seeing that the first time, I don't know what it's the camera is about. And the second time, there's a, uh, there's a rush, rush that we can see from uh, first shooting and uh, next day we see the rushes. Did you see yourself on film? Yeah, Did, and you outside see the, the double head projector. Right. See, that the sound and film here going like in the bush. What was that like, seeing yourself? Well, on I screen. seen it, well, that, that's how you make a film. And, and Nicholas Rose said, yeah. I thought I was gonna be John Wayne. No, no, no. You said, you gotta be the Bushman. <laughs> I said, yeah. Well, you were really in that. And he said, can you hunt? Yeah. And all that I was fearing that kangaroo, that's real. One of the scenes in that film, and I'm going to share that with you today, because to me it's one of the most poignant, wonderful scenes of any film ever, is the dance outside the house with Jenny Agata inside. Can we have a look at that now? Just to remind us how fabulous it is. <coughs> the, because that's uh, my 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 brother-in-law. He's uh, Richard Bunnell. He's a digital player. So in this one here, I'm dancing, and his meaning is uh, I've been uh, feeling in love with her. This dance about to marry her, and I said we've been going for a long, long time, and this is our house, and that's right. That's a love, love dance and die. Yes. You know, yeah. it was, it was I love you, love you, and the next minute I die. I know. What then? Uh, what was that? And I didn't even understand. Now, after this. You yeah, in a mango tree, right? Yeah. And said, uh, and, well, it's amazing and that's, dance, that's isn't it? it? And Jenny Agatha, yeah. look, they gone now. Yeah. And whatever the black fellas come and pick me up from the mango, well, they just, hmm, maybe it's just like, that. <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Uh, but uh, that, no, no, no. That's uh, I'm only thinking. But we part two. We part two, right? Hmm. That film took you all over the world, didn't it? You went after Walkabout. Yeah. You went overseas with that. And this is when you met the Queen. Yeah. And you met a lot of people. And yeah. this is going from your from, la life in the yeah. bush to, you know, what First time many of us would be freaked reality. out by, you know, the, this world of stardom yeah. and yeah. celebrity. It's, uh, a, it's the first time I arrived in, uh, uh, from Darwin to Hong Kong. We had suit made 24 hours. Next day we had a suit and then flying through with the countries. And halfway the air they said, uh, sir, you have to change your uniform now. We're nearby the, uh, London arriving. So then there, I went to parking Palace. She showed me everything that inside. And he said, would you like some that? That was heaps of diamonds. And I said, no, nah, we got a glass. We got a lot of glass in Australia. That was a diamond. I should have picked it up, put it in the pocket. <laughs> but anyway, I walk in there and said, yeah, I went to the toilet. And he said, Excuse ah, me. Yeah, I pull it on it and said, is it, is it a two pound? Is it 20 pounds? Two that I didn't you know, I got a sheep. You know that old Australian pound? Yeah. Because that was the day and I made that film walkabout was, uh, they paid me uh, uh, 10,000 pounds. Right. For walkabout, 10,000 pounds. That was a lot of 10, money. 10,000 dollars pound, yeah. So Australia could be, I don't know how much. Well, that's part of... That's a long time ago, see? Yes, I know. And I won. Um, 
Uh, the queen gave me uh, the medal. Were you frightened? For of all of, the, of this world that you hadn't experienced well, I, before. I don't know what the children I had for. You were fine. And then here they called me OAM. <laughs> what for? <laughs> now, walkabout was seen, but it wasn't seen nearly as widely as Storm Boy. And that was the film that really made you very famous in Australia and much loved by yeah. many children in this country and adults for that matter. Walkabout was, I introduced the Aboriginal people how they lived yeah. in the beginning in Australia before white man came to this country. Long before, long, long, long time ago. Since we began, well, the, that was the time we hunt and lived. In the middle, that, that, that where Jenny Agata was swimming, and me, that was back, backyard of uh, Albert Namandura, the prime painter in um, uh, Amundsburg. The one she walked and got an umbrella and all that. That Albert Namandura country linked into uh, Fink River, Simpson Desert. You know, we're hollow yep. and all that. And some of those were pitching Jarama, but we've been using them in a the tracker. That old man. What about but what about but, Storm uh, Boy? How important was Storm Boy to you? Uh, well, uh, 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 well, Storm Boy was more. Like, I like film. I like film. It is more like, more like, uh, for for people to never forget the animal because pelicans is my dreaming totem, and uh, even though for for Kunai people in South Australia, or right up LinkedIn to Victoria, and all that, that I, you know, symbol I wear like that, and I dance. So this is you in Australia becoming very well known and very well loved. How was that for you in your home country, to be embraced like beautiful, that? Beautiful in my country. I enjoy myself. But when I come to the come to the city and uh, western world, like I'm in the city, 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 uh, big city, you know, the big, big city, I get lost. I get lost this year. Because it's, white people dreaming all the uh, streets and all that thing is your reality in the western world. But me, I still live in, uh, back in olden days that I'm still hunting uh, live with the experience of my ancestors. But now again, today, I live both well, me. Yeah. I live in your world, but it, this is our world, and it's a little island, Australia. But, but yeah, I know because I went to film and television school, so I understand that part now. And, uh, but back home there, I'll just take you out hunting and show you all the spot where that's it. And here, I go picture theaters to see all different things, you know what I mean? Yeah. And over there in my backyard, like, uh, uh, animal land is, uh, I got plenty of room to move around. It's now well, a street. Well, you've straddled. Now a supermarket either. <laughs> you've straddled both worlds, haven't you? Yeah. And the one film that I thought was really so interesting is Mad Dog Morgan, the Philippe Mora film. And I was wondering whether you could talk about that because I remember no one thought that Dennis Hopper was going to survive that film. I mean, he was throwing everything down his throat and up his nose and wherever else. And they didn't think he was going to survive it. How was he to work with? With Dennis Hopper? Yeah. Dennis Hopper. He's, uh, well, he's... Uh True, he was, uh, Dennis and I was, uh, uh, we was, we was uh, drug and alcohol. <laughs> oh, he even drink whiskey and things and everything, Dad. Just, just, <laughs> 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 we were sitting there, we were coming from Sydney to Yass and to Wagga Wagga, Albury and Wangaratta and all that. I know that things and, uh, 
And then the supper gang that rang in the toilet. Oh, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> you know, and, he, and he said, you know, the sign in Australia, the kangaroo picture. And he <laughs> pull up down there. Yeah, what do you guys got? You got the picture? And, yeah, yeah, man. It's regular. It's just show him. It's, uh, was uh, it, it, a, it, was, it was a wild ride for uh, you, well, too? Well, uh, it uh, was... Uh, it, it was uh, He's a wild, he's a, he's a wild, he's a, he's a wild man, a wild yeah. American. Yeah. We hang around with Peter Fonda, you know, Jack Nicholson and all these people, you know, up in the West. I've been hanging around there with the butt. And he said, yeah, I want to take that on set. And uh, <laughs> this one film, we get three films, it's the Nat Kelly Man from Snow River and Mad Dog Morgan. There's three script, and I said, which one I want to sign? I signed Mad Dog Morgan, then I'll do this. Oh, it's going to be in The Man from Snow River. Right. And you chose this one? No, but I took the uh, Mad Dog Morgan, and I said, because it's only two people, see? Yeah, wise and, move. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mentioned it's never about two money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and hard work too. <laughs> you know? Well, there, um, we're going to go to a scene uh, now yeah. from Mad Dog Morgan. Let's yeah. have a look at yeah, I was, a, yeah. a scene from, from yeah, that, that one. Yeah, that was my time now, yeah. You'll go to one grata. I rate that it'll give me a pretty good position on where the police are. And I'll do the Melbourne Road. It's full of money. That, no, that's an easy no, acting not. No. But not the real one. Because real I got one. those scores. The real one is I got nerd. some scores. Some old scores. And I want them paid in full. Things gone down. Be gone, Mrs. Barney. That's a normal lie. We're going to meet there. Dead gum tree at midnight. But when right. it's finished. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, boy. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you one thing. I'll never believe your father was white. <laughs> Ah, oh, that is yeah. <laughs> yeah, that 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 uh, my, uh, Margaret, that was that was my uh, he's my best friend, and when he was traveling around, I gave him my artifacts. Do you do? And uh, I was kind of visit him in uh, Los Angeles, uh, up in uh, in America. Well, he calmed but, uh, down he, later he, on, didn't uh, he? Yeah, he was good, but he's gone to heaven now. I know. Yeah. I oh, know. And uh, it's mystery, you know. But, uh, yeah, I still remember him. Yeah, yeah. Do you maintain friendships with the people that you've acted with? Well, uh, Do you stay friends? Yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, when, um, uh, when Walkabout, I went to Walkabout, we showing there in Los Angeles, uh, I took uh, my wife Diana, Jada, with Lil Boy. He met uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Jack Nicholson, Jim Brown, uh, um, they got roller skate, roller skate in there for young people. They were growing up in LA. And, uh, and the other side is alcohol and drugs. And good thing he's running here, Jack Nicholson, Jim Brown. And um, I met them there and all this. And they was running that. And I wasn't drinking alcohol in that time. You weren't? No, no. When did that start? Uh, um, Waikiki, Diamond Head, you know? Waikiki, yeah, Diamond yeah, yeah. And they had a party there. There was a party for Admiral of the United States of America. And we invited there. And I went by ship from here, you know, the screw ship, yeah. go right around, we come back, we landed in Hawaii. And there was uh, four white men, army, and me, and one do you do, and Clapton. And a tilly box and string and play dung 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 that's where I met uh, Bob Marley. 
Oh, right. And I tested it. I washed my teeth. Now I still smell. And I went around and old man standing there with the cigar. Hey, old man, give me that cigar. And, he, ah, yeah. and Bob Molly went by that. Hey, what's the dog? What's the dog shit uh, you smoking? Have a smoke like that. So he helped me that. And, yeah, you reckon? Yeah. And I didn't know what was that. That was the ganja and I got thrown. Yeah. And uh, yeah, was, uh, that was Bob Marley. Well, you got and it from back, the best. I went back to Hawaii. <laughs> Luxury. Yes, it is. True. Luxury. Luxury. Right? And I ended up, the, I, was, I was in a the hotel there, but I was somewhere else then. Yeah, next day or so. I was somewhere else. And, uh, and Anna Mali was there and her family was there. Do you know, one of the things that I've always thought about you on screen is the way but, you inhabit the frame, you live in the frame. You have a grace within the frame. And I wonder how your dancing, your, your dancing skills have helped your acting. Do you well, know what I mean? Yes, yes, You yes. seem comfortable yes, with yes, your yes. body yes, on yes, screen. Yes, uh, I'm a thoroughbred. <laughs> I, I can't get fat because I dance all the time, you know. Yeah, but, and my foot is down too. Though. But you seem that... my movement. Yeah. That's what I mean. You move yeah. really beautifully. Yeah. I can dance. My, my culture, I can dance ballet, and I'm a ballerina too. Because a friend of mine, uh, New Europe, New Europe, that one, yeah. He came to Sydney. So, I danced really, really, psh, like that. But you do, uh, the, With the music. The thing is, you look as if you're really comfortable in front of camera. Do you, are you comfortable? Yeah, well, well it's... Uh, camera one, but your camera will make you perfect. <laughs> but uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, 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 I love camera, and I mean it's different. Different when you see me in acting and all that. Acting is like pretend you got to be somebody else, you know, in this movie. Like in a walkabout, I'm, I, I, I was uh, a real black fella. How we live, we've been hunt and carry that thing, spear. And talk a bush dagger. And then mad talk more, and I was, I get shot in there. I ride horse. And only things I chair with the sound of kookaburra. Because no one else can do that. And I play did you do because no one else can do that in there. So and, the and and mad talk Morgan film with Dana Sapa. Yeah? Yeah. Because when when the director he said to me, can you play the year? Yeah, everything. That's why I'm there. And director asked me to walk about, can you throw a speech and all that, everything. So that's why I was, the, that was the first time. Did you, was that you doing the kookaburra? Was yeah. that recorded sound that, on, out of, on that's set? That's for me. I can do that. Right. I can, I can talk to crocodile. Mm, 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 mm. It comes up. It comes that crocodile to you. Or you get the rock and you go. And crocodile will go like that. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yes, I love it. And uh, the camera, I love it. And everything that I do, it's natural, my acting. Because what and how he want that director to head the mission and all that thing, make sure that. I tell you one thing is, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, well, you seen that Dark Age? Yeah, many what's years his, ago. What's his name? Yeah, what, and Burnham Burnham and me and John Garrett. That's right. And they was a bad actor, so they went to England, they headed it. So I was starring then. Yeah. By uh, the way, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I say some Australian actors is they have to learn how to act. <laughs> Come to me, I'll teach you out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because, because I'm a uh, 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 natural actor. Because I've been having a dinner and lunch with many times with Clint Eastwood. He was going to uh, play uh, Billy West. And he said, nah, I want to produce it. Because I went there. And I said, a big long gun. I said, Daddy Larry. <laughs> Is that real? And he said, yeah, I designed it. 
<laughs> the other element of you on screen, particularly, you know, is that, that sense of mischief. Does that come from, you know, you're mischievous, you're funny. My feeling? You're funny. Well, You've got a I, sense of mischievous, taking the piss. I, um, I don't know maybe I'm much, I've got to answer it, but I enjoy, I, I enjoy myself when I'm acting, but really a mouse, full time is I'm a dancer. Full time, I'm a dancer. Do you st still dance? I dance, yeah. I dance anything. Rock and roll, Michael Jackson, I can do that. <laughs> Do you dance traditional dance? Traditional dance. Well, I like your mischief, and I'd like to go to the because I always love this scene, the final scene from the from the tracker. Um, I just sort of cap that film off so beautifully. Can we have a look at the tracker segment now? Yeah. So you can ride. I suppose you can swim, too. You know how to get back? I think so. You? My land is far away, boss. But always I can find it. I wonder who did kill that woman? Probably white fella, boss. They are murderers. Shifty. Thieving, dishonest mob, can't trust them one bit. <laughs> Always a hope. Hey, brother, I love you, Rob. It's beautiful, that scene. Up, right? It's really lovely. That's in my heart. Yeah. That's a uh, script written by uh, Ralph and me. He came to ask me the first, and he came to Robin Ginning and sat down in a greenhouse for a long time from 9 o'clock until 10 o'clock was arrived. All day, right down, sat down, I had to walk from across the other side from my homeland, walk right around and swim across, and I didn't swim, but people, of course, we would swim. Cross, come down, walk up there, and then see me still sitting down there <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a drum or something. And he said, hey, and I said, you know, walk up and Malak wanna pay him, got a nina pay me, even come here. I said, he came here, his brother been sitting down there, and now you've come late now. And I said, ah, oh, sorry, I would say, and come down there, yeah. And then we would start from there, we went to Morangi. Excuse me. And then we would start here, but and went down there, halfway, in the middle of nowhere. I had fishing line. I would kind of feed him fish, but we, get it. we didn't get it. I got on a one. The next minute, I couldn't see all these fish. And he just looked at me. There's a lot of fish there. A lot of fish there, they hear the rough looking. Yeah, but I can't see it, best. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, try this. He took the glass and said, try this. <laughs> That's a Polaroid glass, and I put it in a, wow, 30 <laughs> fish, they're gonna die. And I went, one, two, ten. 30, 30 fish was in there. Just like that, 25 minutes. Mari? Thrown it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. No, 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 but I was going to say, when we were just backstage beforehand and Rolf was talking about how he had cast you in the tracker yeah. and he met you for an hour, I gather, yeah. in Adelaide. Yeah, we were, and he felt that he did not, there was such a cultural yeah. gap between you yeah. uh, that he didn't know how to talk well, to you. Well, because I took... And you I took, said to him... Yeah, I took Ralph to Murawangi because I didn't want to talk about in front of all my family. And I went down and asked that manager, can you take us down to heaven? So we had our own meeting. That was the idea of mine. <laughs> own meeting. See, talk about this film. Well, he said it was that, yes. revelatory that week he spent, <laughs> spent with you. Yeah. Um, and I loved that story about, yeah. you know, going out on the boat... Yeah. And and you spearing yeah. 30 fish, Big. and each one of them was just two inches behind <laughs> the eye. You know, the yeah. accuracy yeah. With, within half an hour. Yeah. 
So this is your bush yes. skills? Yes. Uh, we are a Polaroid sunglass. <laughs> <laughs> Polaroid, so I can see it right through. Right now, right, right now, I'm blind like this. Your heart is focused. <clears throat> up there, further up there. But here I can see you. But then, see, that, that's how I found out with a fish. Pretend you're a fish, right? And I put my, I put, I put my glass like this, like this. Right, Ralph? I put like that, and I said, wow, like I was a I thought it was a fish swimming clear. You know what I mean? And so we got that. It's and goes we to show were, the value we of Polaroids. We were having a tracker movie in the middle of, middle of now in the swamp. Yeah. So no one can hear us, see? <laughs> well, that was a really valuable uh, week for both of you, in a way, because yeah. your career with Rolf has been really important. Yeah. Out of that, out of the track, it came Ten Canoes. Uh, ten Canoes. Uh, we done that, and then I was thinking, about, oh, what next? What next film I wanna to make? I was asking myself, and then I was looking straight up. Ah, oh, yeah, this I at uh, Dr. Donald Thompson and Ten Canoe. And I said, yeah, my father there too. And I said, yeah, and I cried. Uh, I went around. You see this? Yeah. Ten kino, this one more on I said, what? And? Oh, well, I got to make film about this. I know how to make kino. I don't know family. All right, that's good, good. And I said, all right. And, um, and um, <laughs> then they came. So I said, yeah, well, who can I see you? You see Peter and Philip and Bobby to my kino. So I was making kino, but I didn't come there. I was in Adelaide. <laughs> I didn't know that thing, it's just for that. And when he went down there, yeah, it took about maybe two days, pick him up there, kick the bark in there. That work with Rolf, how do you work with Rolf? That's a, that's a, a second. You, you work with him to create ten canoes? Yeah, yeah, uh, I had to uh, bring that story from Dr. Donald Thompson. And uh, uh, right now, the Donald Thompson daughter here in the reception. Thank you for coming. And uh, uh, this is, uh, I made that your father, uh, Donald Thompson, uh, story in Morangi. And he took carry the camera, he took photos, he used to carry a tele box inside, waterproof, through the jungles and come back and went back. Then I found that history, the photo taken. When, when I saw that photo, uh, the story was there already. It strikes me that you're moving back to embracing your culture in your filmmaking much more now. To, Is that right? Yeah. Do you to, feel that you, oh sorry, um, that you, you're moving closer to yeah, representing to, on screen what your world is yeah, about. To, to make people understand. Yes. What happened in between in our lifetime. Yeah. When first white men arrived. And there is more that Dan Keno was first, long time ago. And then there's uh, 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 Billy Potter came, Billy, the later, I mean, something like that. Two people with it in science what? And uh, uh, but even Charlie's country, you know, you're you're representing. I mean, that's you yeah. know a person in that situation, yeah. you know, you're speaking to all of Australia and, you know, opening up a world that maybe yeah. a lot of us don't understand yeah. or know. Yeah, I, I my, my story, my films is, because it's from, some of those films from my point of view, say, I helped, uh, I helped, uh, uh, Phil Noyes, my friend, we was a uh, schoolmate together. Well, um, who yes. went to film and television school. He became yeah. a director and I became uh, everything. And uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, that's where I would learn from there. And 
Um, uh, I know. Well, that's uh, rabbit proof fence. I mean, that you came together, didn't yeah, you, for rabbit yeah, proof fence? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's only. I I can do that tracking. You know that part only. I can do that. But every other thing's okay. And um, same with. I I act with all different people like David Wynnum, Jack Thompson. Yeah, you had quite a career with a lot of really talented people. Yeah. Who's the, um, Rolf, shut your ears. <laughs> who's, who's the director that you've most enjoyed working with? Rob. <laughs> Rob. Why? Rob. Because my, uh, 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 is in, is in, uh, is in me, and I'm in him, we shame one red blood. And you too. And everyone. Think, mm. think really hard. I'm black, follow you white, follow you. Whatever you are, we want red blood. Yeah. Now, today. And so, yeah, I loved Ralph, my brother. Because he know my people, their family. And Darwin Lurkia. And I want to thank you, Darwin Lurkia. Thank you very much. I love you, Darwin. No, and you, you were and not in a very good position when Rolf came to see you in Darwin and to make Charlie's Country. That well, was... Well, what this time I'll talk about uh, a movie, uh, I mean a movie made. And it's the right time to, uh, to talk about my film, me and Rolf made and my family. And uh, after I don't know whatever we're thinking about, just like everyone else thinking, all the filmmakers. So I'm here, I'm still alive. I quit the alcohol and cigarette. That's a good thing. And I'm full sober. I'll make more good movie. I quit because for my, uh, for my sons and grandson and granddaughter. And I'm a great, great, uh, I got uh, many families. Yes. I have sons and I have daughters and I have children. And I'm the master for my family from now on until I go. And for all of Australia, I will be, you will be receiving many messages and stories from me and Margaret. <laughs> I said, <laughs> we've done that. We, this is how many times? Three times now we've done in Sydney Opera House. Yeah. Remember I, I was like a white suit? Yeah. And my agents, a woman in a red, you know, June can. Yeah. Long time ago then. Yeah, long time ago. Yeah. Um, how do you feel looking back at yourself on screen as a younger man? Because um, I want to go to the next clip because I think it's beautiful well, as well. Well, I'm proud. I'm really happy and I'm proud of it that I'm glad that I done what I wanted through drug and alcohol and now I'm 5007. <laughs> and uh, well, it's zero. Every time they uh, uh, they know me face in Australia, they prisolate me. There's nothing, no story. So I think I gotta change my mind and go back to pub again. I already signed my name and all around Australia, around the world. I done it. Not biscuit, caviar, champagne. You can have it. <laughs> that's why I didn't go to confirm festival. You've lived a life, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I like this reception. Yeah. For you and me. Well, look, honestly, but, uh, David. But another red carpet is like uh, we went to, for the tracker, we went to Venice. Up there. There's no I'm, taxi yeah, there. There's a boat Venice taxi together. and a boat, <laughs> and the boat has got everything in it. Yeah. Yeah. What, but, now, when you were at film school with Philip Noyce and others, uh, you made a film... Uh, called Showing Melbourne to Man and Greta. And I'd like to have a look at just a little bit of that. And you were only 20 when you made this in 1973. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's lo well, lovely. I, I, this is what I mean. You look at you walking yeah, around I, Melbourne and yeah. you look as if you own the place. Yeah. That was the beginning of it, beginning of it. Yeah. See, when I come to the city and uh, uh, that's where I met my wife, uh, Diana. See? Yeah. And then, uh, but, but I was in film school. I was in university. I, I didn't go to university. 
or in school, just dancing, uh, dancing around in Redfin. Or I, I travel around school, keep dancing. And but then you, you learned the skills to make this film. Right. You, you learned the skills at film school I, to yeah, make I taught myself. Most I taught myself, except myself and uh, 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 trusted myself. Because some other, I didn't trust a lot, a lot of directors and writers and, you know. Well, um, you were very young I was well, very young. I wrote the script, Billy West, The Lightning Thunderbolt, and Clint Eastwood got a play part, but he said, I want to produce it, but then again, <laughs> not enough money. As to, um, um, well, uh, yeah, yeah. It, Will we have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's if we're talking about it, yeah. Uh, this one, this one here, yeah, I was 14, I mean, um, 20, I think, uh, 19 or something. I was going to film school in Sydney, Texas. This is a Melbourne eh? I directed that one, I directed. And I had a cameraman with me, and I directed, and I headed it. But you, I, I've got to put in a plug here for the National Film and Sound Archive, because it's because of them that we've still got this. You know, it's a wonderful institution. I urge you yes, to support you. it. It needs support. Um, All right, now I was going on to something else then. That, uh, that the was Charlie's Country. Yeah. How did that evolve? Did now, mean, Rolf came to see you in Darwin, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, this is very much, in a way, your story, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Charlie Country is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, this is no script. We, every morning, just uh, roll, give him a uh, cool seat from the table. <laughs> yeah. and, and Molly, uh, you got phone? You got camera in the eye? Yeah, she was filming with that. Molly, the, uh, another country. Yes. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Molly Charlie another country. Yeah. <laughs> phone, eh? But he put that uh, SIM card in it and, and pressed the button and had a bit of screen, and then you can edit it. And then good one day we put that. Uh, that my way I can do that, and and I can do that. No, editing. So, uh, developing this story, how did you develop the story of Charlie's Country? Charlie Country. Uh, it's uh, a Charlie country is uh, a story about uh, a story about homeless. Uh, it was when white man came to here, and first time I came, I was young. In this last film you see, that is way back. I would start learning then. Then I would know how to drink alcohol. Everything that I tried. I would smoke ganja with uh, Jimi Hendrix in, uh, in a Centennial Park in New York City, USA. I went to, from this school of Australia, I went because I proved myself that I can teach uh, 
anyone in this world. Like I went to visit and teach deaf and dumb in Waterford, Connecticut, 100 miles from New York. Then I went to Santa Fe and danced there with American Indians. So my digital classic went around the world. Expo 70, I was in Japan and all that area. In the film industry, and uh, my walkabout film was showing in um, Rome, and I was into the, into the dragon, uh, Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee and Jack Norris, I was working there. I went to Chaikan and all that, and I'm still looking for the photos, me and Bruce Lee and Jack Norris. So then it was showing, that's the first time I met these famous people, you know? Yeah. And then I was getting out of what can I make in Australia. First, you know, all this with my ten canoe, and now it's Charlie. And Charlie is about life about me and my people. It's about drug and alcohol, sleeping in a long grass, homeless, same clothes for 12 months, every day, night and day. Going to jail every day. I got fined in the park. I end up in jail every day. Then the last one I got went to jail for one year from Nganichi, drink, croak, Joanna, everything. I've I done all that. I break the world record. Everyone now. Today is true. Today Australia got all different brains you got. All your white people make the ice drugs from your point of view. But I to believe the marijuana and cover. They are natural. They not illegal in a planet today. It's been born as a tree when the birds of earth been born the first time. Then someone came into the wandering around and somewhere there and find it is marijuana plant. And one is trees are kava trees. It's only black polis knew that. And American Indians knew that about the ganja. African doesn't matter who, Afghans, all over. Because we got, the, we got a land, but this land is floating. There's a sun and moon in different places. I'll tell you one thing, what we're doing for our earth, we're mining too much, digging, you know, making hollow like a rabbit hole. What if the big king saw the earth crack? will <laughs> split that earth. We'll be flirting there. Anyway, I don't think that, but that's how I see. I just are reminding all the Australian governments what I think. You know? I know where you are, but I know where, where I am. I am here. I'm a full blood. And talking to you about my history, Mines and Margaret, we are witness for all of Australia filmmakers and history. Can I? Am I right there, point? Somewhere yeah. like that, if I'm talking about? I've been learning a lot from my director and cameraman and the sound man. Yeah, man. Well, Bob, Ralph. I thought that was and actually a lovely story yeah. that you were in jail yeah. in Darwin and yeah. when Rolf heard yeah. that you were in jail and he lives yeah. beyond anyway, anyway, Hobart, anyway, anyway. he yeah. jumped on yeah. a plane yeah. to go and see you yeah. and he thought, what can I do to help my friend? Yeah. And he thought... I'm going to make another film with him. Yeah. And that was Charlie's Country. Yeah. I thought that was such a great story of friendship and artistic collaboration. Uh, I was really moved by that story. Were you moved by Rolf wanting to help you? Yeah, because uh, uh, the, the, uh, I didn't know Rolf kind of visited me in Burma jail. So finally, I oh, was surprised. Uh, I cry for myself. I cry in my heart. And, um, I'm famous, I'm here, I'm locked up with beer, 
croak. And I will look my brother, Ralph Walken, up and sit down and cry. He said to me, what you, where are you going from here? What are you going to do when you come out? Where are you going to go? I don't know. I'm at the same place. And I said, why don't you make, live, why don't you make a film live about me? It's a short one. Docker. That's, that's not a script. So, uh, my heart been cry, cry here in front of you. When Rob came and asked me where you want to go, and I said, no way, we'll make film. Because I believe I would dream my brain is one side red, one side black. So ready to die, ready to die. And that reason why I haven't stopped the alcohol and cigarette. Finished. But I'm already dead anyway because cigarette, ganja, sugar, grog, and my body of universe is damaged. I'm gonna go long walk about after this, Margaret. But why? I don't want to upset you. I didn't want to upset you. I'm homesick. <laughs> <laughs> but but you see, out of this, as there's a bit of a fire in your belly now. You know, out of looking at another country, which is looking at how difficult it is yeah, for yeah, your yeah, culture yeah, to yeah, live. Yeah. You know, w yeah. with white culture. Well, Char Charlie, Charlie, country is. Uh, is it true? Is it true like uh, Charlie country that was the life of me of drug and alcohol? But uh, from there and then now I'm lost now. My body is growing. And that's a true story. And I was making that film Charlie country. I was sick. I'm still sick for alcohol. Yeah, because alcohol went down right in the foot there. And my doctor here, uh, Mary, and look after him, full doctor in Australia. And she come from Adelaide, her family there. White woman, but she know all my family. She's been in Arnhem Land, like Ralph and other film crew. And those people I want to thank to for the large Charlie country, but Charlie country is saved me life and saved my people life. I think they got the message not to touch him drug and alcohol while they're growing the young generation for this is, I'm talking to my, to my people's point of view and your, your point of view too. So you, yes. No, no. I was, I was just going to say, you know, that you seem now to be very conscious of yourself as a spokesman, an elder, uh, a mentor for young people in your community, uh, in the community generally. Uh, do you take that seriously? That you have something to teach? Yes, the younger uh, generation. Yes, yes, because uh, my son and I we. Uh, uh, Jara, Jamie, uh, my two sons, we, uh, we're conducting Animal Land now, and we're setting up here in Victoria, in Yore Yore country here, Melbourne. My business got to be here, my son here, his name is Jara Golpril. My daughter here, Makaya Golpril. And if my daughter here, and that's why I quit, because my, ma uh, my wife who died, my daughter's mother, by alcohol. She's a white woman. She died in Adelaide. And I stopped when I come here. I stopped then. And that's my worrying, see? I ended up in a dangerous point in uh, drug and alcohol. So then it's a proof it's drug and alcohol. This is Charlie I've been making, a true story of life. You know, it's a true story, uh, homeless, a story about a homeless, like that, not home. And but it's a, you're no caught. Job. You're no caught. job, 
Yeah. Zero. I know. All of black police. I know. Well, out of that came another country. And yeah. I think we ought to look at the... This is Molly Reynolds' film... Yes, please. ...that yes, she please. made with you. Yes, please. And yes. Because I want to see and it, what we're you know, talking it's about. you engaging yeah. politically, yeah. Uh, which I think is really interesting. Right. So can we have a look at the look trailer from another live. country which screened last night right. to great acclaim and a wonderful yeah. uh, excitement yeah. of, of yeah. David? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you see this. This is where I live. Animal land. Yeah. It's it's full of nature there. Yeah. It's about what happened to my culture when it was interrupted by your culture. That's animal and I live there now, that's where I come from. That's my nephew Bobby, that's how I shop inside. Tomorrow I will change the country. And I will pick football ground basketball, everything, shop, I will change. That's all the vitamins that I have a little bit. Because uh, the lead there, federal government doesn't help us to do a little bit. But we got the culture. Oh. Yeah. In other countries. In other country. When I say other country, well, I got follow everything. I'm in. I'm in a Western world. I'm in a traditional world, and I'm. Where else? Well, you're pretty. I love nature. Well, yes, but you're. Oh, there's also a little bit of anger in that film. Yeah, isn't there? There's yeah. there's there's anger and frustration. Yeah. yeah. Um, about all the junk we've given indigenous yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's there because uh, uh, animal and Roman Gunning is nobody is supporting us. Not even the federal government. But one only thing there they're trying in the eastern animal land. Just saying about the ground, but it's the uh, top part of animal land is uh, full of, it's a rich, rich country. See? Black wallets are on the top, but inside soil owned by the federal government. Soil. How am I going to win that? And it's a long way to fight it. I got not enough, I got no team. But I can bring it up by tongue, selling a letter stick to stop the mining. Because there's Arnhem land I'm thinking about, I want to put the Great Wall of Arnhem, Dutch. <laughs> Dutch man be there, Holland. Where my director come from. And my friend was a Dutch man too. And uh, this one from Holland, these people. But for that, for that, for that, I say it's a great wall of Arnhem, like China, see? But that's where the federal got the gov uh, power, while well, my power, I've got to close the wall. That's my thinking. I'll do it this year, easy. And. Well, there's. I was. Just going to say, we're just about out of I can't time, say, but, but I was going to say, but, there's, yeah, I'm, there's I'm, a lot I'm more. I'm saying, I'm saying because there's no support. Yeah. For those not either Arnhem Land, Northern Territory, Toronto, or in Australia, there's no support. I can't see the proof uh, from the federal government. Nothing well, at all. you know, the fact but, that but, you make but, the point but, in the film that but, there's no work there, yeah. so everybody just um, hangs around. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm still in uh, film and television. Uh, I, I, I am making an all this, like the Charlie country I make, and then, then not only that, but uh, my young one, I wanna, I wanna teach him, and and teach him develop homeland and live and grow farms and all these things. It's something like every all around the country and all this, but uh, but uh, at the moment is 
Nothing. And in the top there, how come all around this from, from, from Western Australia all the way up to Queensland and back to Darwin is bitumen? Because tomorrow, I will, if I will think, I'll put all the, if I'll fight with the government, I'll, I'll put all the savage statues all around, my, all around the street, mine. Maybe that's why I can get the money to build it. See? Title plan. Mm. When the wall go like that, you gotta pay. When you come through the gateway, I wanna extra you, Moriga. <laughs> and that machine will go to your pocket and get the license and your date of birth and make you your uh, citizen and where you come from. Uh, that'll be my, in the one now, I'm, I'm just getting ready to do all these things. And in the meantime, I'm too busy in making film. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's like uh, teaching you uh, like right now, because where I am, what I do, and all I think, well, this is it. That's what I look like. Yeah. Oh. David, when we say thank you to you, I mean, this program is an absolute testimony of what you've achieved over the years. Yeah. You're a wonderful yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. You've got but, uh, yeah. passion can I, in you. Yeah. Can, I, can I go back to that, go back to the track guy? Yeah. You know, the track guy. Uh, uh, probably white fella did that, you know what I mean? I said that, but there's another scene you see it in track guy. There's a tree. The tree we've been put them there, never been grow, but we've been digging put them there. And him sell out the tree. See, no one can do that, eh? So, so that part you don't know. <laughs> See? And what else? <laughs> One part I liked, uh, oh, must be them black people, they come and took them and took them and cook them and eat them. Remember I said that, uh, you know, we're carnival. <laughs> like that. I like that part. And, 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 and the other one too, you know. Do what I tell you to do, you know. Don't do that I don't tell you to do. Keep that garden, you know. I like that part. You've got, a, you've got many great yeah. parts and in many I great like, films. I like falling down in the tracker, you see. I wasn't falling in that with a stuntman and one that, that white fella stuntman from Russia. <laughs> you are strict now. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, when we're swimming like this and going up, there's uh, two places. One is clean one, and uh, that's a uh, swimming pool. And one is when we go, we dive in, and the cut, we're pulling the chain and all that, that different scene, see? And it fell down as my stuntman did, did that, black fella. And pull him down, that man falling down from the horse. That's real, that one. That's <laughs> real, that one, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. so yeah, many well. stories, David. Hey. We have to finish. Yeah, OK, I then. I will look, uh, um, yeah. It we was wonderful. Now. You're we're always go great. We're gonna, we're gonna go I like now. talking to you on stage. Yeah, yeah, I like to. When are we going to do, do this again? <laughs> next year. Next year? Yeah. Yeah, can next I dance year. next time? <laughs> can I dance next time? Yes. And yes. anyway, I opened the Sydney Opera House. Me. me. I you was dancing naked. <laughs> On all the boys. David, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>